Welcome to the Sunny Booth International Circuit and we're here to find out whether this new SUV from MG is going to spoil the party of the Koreans and the Germans and this says AI Inside. The last one said Internet Inside packed with technology on safety and of course driving dynamics. In this video we'll tell you about what you like, what you'll dislike and the fact that whether this is a worthy alternative to the ones that are already in the market. This is Exhibit Auto Tech Channel and Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe our channel before you watch this video. Hello, Asta. Hi, how can I help? Let's go for a drive on the Booth International Circuit, shall we? understand uh, the dynamic capabilities of this car it's not very it does not it doesn't roll a lot on the sharp bends uh, power delivery is gradual uh, the 138 bhp i think is adequate for our cities but really what this car i don't think people are going to buy this for the way it drives it is for the technology that is packed into uh, this package i would say from the safety features so about 27 odd safety features 14 odd advanced driving systems uh, that really make this car i think uh, a talking point when it comes to uh, the kind of connected car technology that everyone's come to expect of now and future cars so now that we have driven the MG Aston, you have an idea on how it drives. Let's talk about five to seven geeky stuff that you will be loving about it. Starting with what uh, MG calls the MG Pilot or the Intelligent Driving System. So what I want to first talk about is the Lane Assist System or what MG likes to call LKA. It's an automatic system of keeping the car within two lanes without you actually, you know, like if you forget to hold the steering wheel of the car and it does this after a speed of 60 kilometers an hour and the feature that everyone's going to talk about and is going to be a favorite of almost every five to ten year old is the new personal AI assistant with this little um, kind of sign languagey robot uh, hello Asta I am listening how are you today it takes a big time to respond I think it's taking its own sweet time. Hello, Asta. Pardon? Open the sunroof. Not bad. She does take commands very well. <laughs> so you can talk to this assistant, you know, uh, have a conversation. Uh, she's powered uh, by Wikipedia's information engine. It can be a little laggy at times, but on the whole, I think it's a, it's a I, I like the fact that MG has visualized the voice assistant by this little uh, illustration or what you would call animation of, of the responsiveness. Next feature is what MG calls the speed assist system, right? Now this is really cool. We had a demonstration on how uh, adaptive cruise control actually works. So let's say we set a speed of 40. So this is the button for, right? Okay, I've set my speed at 40 on right now and I will switch to intelligent mode right now is on intelligent okay and I can translate and keep assist yeah I've set it at 32 and now it should maintain it it should automatically break if there's a car in front so a lot of intelligent features uh, built into the sky in terms of safety and convenience and I think all these are quite practical to be used uh, I would say on the highway where we have a more straighter form of roads and speed limits above 60 for sure so we got a chance to check out uh, what MG calls the EPS or electronic power steering and you've got modes in that specifically because this car misses out the pure driving modes which changes the suspension of the gearbox setting and what we have to do is simply go into vehicle settings EPS and in the EPS we have a dynamic normal and urban so let's go for dynamic because currently we're trying to be a little hooligan and yeah you can feel that the car 
because the steering is yeah, it is, yeah it's pretty well weighted right now and when you take this picture yeah the feedback is good I'm actually surprised what um, I mean the tuning that MG must have got on this car in terms of the power steering and then we go to something called urban and what this does is I think it's much lighter I mean, it's not as light as some of the Japanese uh, steering wheel but it's still it's still much lighter and it gives a sense of confidence The next being the internet abled capability of the car through the iSmart app of MG which allows you to operate the remote functions of the car. In fact you can even open the car digitally using its digital key through Bluetooth and at the same time drive away without having the physical key in your pocket. The third feature that you're going to love is the fully digital information display and as well as a 10.1 inch HD display on the center console for all the infotainment functions. It's really easy to use with uh, not a lot of lag in terms of usability. At the same time, a lot of the electronic functions can be configured through the central display. And finally, my favorite is the panoramic sunroof that MG likes to call the skyroof. It is just simply massive. Great sense of space for the interiors, especially combined with the lipstick red interior that MG is offering as an option on the top end models. There is a comprehensive ADAS setup that is being offered on the MG Aster and it's a level 2 system that uses both camera and radar input and brings multiple active safety features which are class unique. These include adaptive cruise control, forward collision warning, automatic emergency braking, lane keep assist, lane departure prevention and speed assist. Of course, very few SUVs offer this at this point and this will be a talking point in terms of safety for the car. But this car has a set of flaws and here's three things that I'm not flipping over. Starting with the much talked about AI assistant which can be a little slow to respond and a lot of the commands it does not have answers to. And after a point, I think its novelty will die out. The second bit is the lack of under thigh support for tall passengers in the rear and the lack of a sun blind as well. This can be a deterrent to customers who are looking for this car being primarily as a chauffeur driven car. The third that you may find unappealing is the performance on the petrol engines. They're nowhere close to the EV performance. At the same time, top end performance on the petrol engines is leaves a lot to be desired can get a little boomy beyond 3000 rpm and really there's not much power to pull you through beyond that. So what do I think of the new MG Aster? Well, if I'm in the market for a brand new SUV that gives me comfort, technology and luxury in one small package, I'll be hard pressed not to check this car out. Prices are yet to be revealed but we expect it to be between 10 to 17 lakh rupees bang in the middle of the Koreans and the German party. Let us know in the comments below if you think this could be MG's next blockbuster in the Indian market. Until then, drive safe and do not forget to like, share, subscribe to the Exhibit channel.